Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica 2019 and right now we're in the case booth and we're joined by Daniel. Daniel, how's it going? It's going really, really well. So this year we've done quite a lot with our stand, our booth. Uh, the feedback we're getting is great. We've gone for this all new look. We're really looking at connectivity as well this year. So we're doing a lot of developments with data, what we call Data Connect, so with AFS Connect, uh, and people are really picking up the vibe of KSAH, what we want to do and where we want to go to in the future. Well, this concept tractor behind us, uh, we saw it a couple of years ago at Farm Progress Show in the US, and uh, really, really turned a lot of heads there. It's also getting a large crowd around us here uh, where are you at with this concept of basically an autonomous tractor with no cab? Yeah, so we, you obviously saw it farm progress first. We actually, in shortly afterwards, we showed it uh, in France at one of our big fairs there. We're showing it again here because uh, we're showing it with the link of our new tractor here, the Magnum uh, AFS Connect. So the tractor here that was shown is actually loosely based on our Magnum tractor. Obviously, it's missing the cab. This yeah. this brought a lot of attention. At the time, we did it for a few purposes. One uh, really main reason was to test the technology, but also to test the market and see what the reaction was. Would there be a need? And for sure, um, you know, we got mixed reactions on things like social media, but when you talk to a lot of the large scale customers, they could uh, really see a need for something like this. And we were also showing a lot of technology regarding receivers, LiDAR, camera, and things like that. We've been testing that, that concept um, throughout the last couple of years, um, and it's, it's working out really well for us. But really where we are right now is we're moving a lot of the technology from here, or some of the technology from here, across to this product that you see here, which, by the way, we've kept the cab on for now. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so what are some of those technologies? Give us some examples of things that have moved over to this new Magnum 400. Yeah, so, I mean, visually, the clear thing is the styling, so that, that came across, but it's more than that, so it's the, the technology regarding the receiver. So the receiver that you see on the roof of this new tractor is the same receivers, where well, actually had two um, on the tractor there. Then also it's the, the connectivity part, so uh, telematics or connectivity would be the words we'd use for this, so exchange of data. Um, on the concept behind us, you will have seen pictures with the guy standing there, maybe with a tablet, something like that, seeing what is going on. We're able to exchange data, uh, agronomic data, which is not unusual on this tractor, but we're also, uh, the farm manager is able to see um, what the operator is seeing as well. So we've got a lovely new display called the AFS 1200 display, new user interface and things like that. Of course, when you offer something new to the market, people may not know quite how it all works. We now have the possibility of what we call remote viewing. So we can, um, we can send a message from a PC, from a computer in the office, to the, to the uh, display in the cab, and then the uh, guy in the office is actually able to see directly what the guy in the cab is seeing, and if needed, give him some guidance. So um, he's actually, to, actually able to highlight, you know, you need to set this up, push this, and he can actually highlight which buttons to do and actually remotely support. That would be super convenient and helpful in with planter situations, and, and obviously with combines. Is, yeah. is that gonna be available in the combines too? Well, let's just say for now, this is the first product that we roll out on, but um, you know, we, we like to work on common themes regarding our screens, our control, user interfaces. We don't like to do something special just for one machine because okay. we, we want to have technology, but we want to be straightforward. We want you to be able to jump into any case such machine in the future and have the same operating concept. So I'll leave that conclusion to you, but I think that gives you a fairly good idea. Stay tuned. Okay, so about the concept behind us, have, have you, are you pushing forward on it or have you abandoned it or where, where are you at with the whole idea? We've not abandoned it. We, we, we always said that this was going to be the expression for the future, uh, that this was not going to be the, the short term uh, rollout. Uh, we will continue to push along that, but it's going to be a journey. And you know the journey's already started. Uh, I mean, again, I could give you plenty more examples of what we're doing on this machine already, which is linked to this regarding headland management, turning, automation, and things like that as well. 
Also, the dealer is able to access the tractor remotely. If there's a software update needed, the dealer can do that as well. So this remote management um, is going to be something we will continue. So really, as time goes forward, you will see more and more going across. And I think eventually we can get somewhere like that. But we need, we need the technology to evolve. Um, and we also need our customers to evolve to this as well. So it's going to be a journey. The same approach is happening in a, you know, electric tractors, right? It's it's a it's a process. Exactly, exactly. You need the technology and you need the acceptance as well. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Dan, thanks a lot for joining us. Really appreciate it, and good luck with the rest of Agritechnica. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you for your time.